Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome to my channel, Beyond the Sewing Room. So I hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas if you're watching this as it goes out. So it's that time of year, it's 29th December, that little bit in between Christmas and the New Year as I film this. So I hope you've all had a good time if you do celebrate the season. And I thought today I'd share my latest make, well, yeah, it is my latest make actually, it's the last one I did before Christmas. And I did say a while ago that I didn't think I was going to be able to get the shirt out of the amount of fabric, this fabric that I bought because it is a narrow le length of fabric and I did manage to get the shirt out of it so I'm really pleased about that. This video is about Birda 6849 and the different ways that I've made this pattern. Now it is a favourite pattern, it is one of the first patterns that I bought when I bought some commercial patterns as for many years as I've said in previous videos I always, always made my clothes from making my own patterns of clothes I already had and I decided I would just buy myself a couple of basic patterns that I could adapt and that's what I did. Of course now I own lots of patterns because it's my job and I do samples and videos and things so I do get a lot of them as part of my job. So I have a lot more now but this one is a favourite, it's one that I recommend buying if you want a good uh, staple shirt pattern for your wardrobe. It's brilliant, it's come out good every time and I'm going to show you the different ways I've made it over the years. So this is my latest, I'm going to insert some photographs here so that you can see a clearer view of it. I will stand up right now just so you can see as well. So as you can see it's a long line shirt, I have shortened it, I've shortened it by three inches on this particular make. I've done the full shirt with the cuff, the button cuff, button down front and I've done one pocket this time. So I've got one pocket here. And there's a reason why I've got a different coloured collar stand on the inside. As the fabric was so narrow, I had to use a different colour fabric, a contrasting fabric, just for a couple of pieces so I could eat the fabric out. So I've used this fabric here on the inside of the collar stand, a pink that goes with the pink in the pattern. Yeah, I suppose you could have used any of these colours. And then it has a yoke back and on the inside of the yoke I've used this pink again. Everywhere else I managed to eke out the bits and I am pleased to say that there were only crumbs of fabric left when I'd finished. I had a couple of small pieces which I will save for patchwork in the future and then they were just literally little bits around the edges so that was really satisfying that I used it all up. So I'm going to show you the different ways that I've made it. So this particular one, I did the full length version as you can see, but like I said, I took three inches off. Now I did cut it the size it was with maybe just a little fold up at the waist, but then I decided, yeah, it's too long for me at this length. So I took three inches off once it was all complete. Now it's got two pockets in some of the images. As I said, I was short on fabric. I've only gone for one pocket, but I have made it in different ways. So this latest version is in Art Gallery Fabrics. This is an Autumn Vibes, this particular design. I really like it. It's got really nice colours, sort of all the colours that I really like in this fabric. And it's a cotton poplin. So that is a good fabric for making a shirt, if you're interested in making a shirt. So that's this one. I'm going to show you some of the others. Now you have seen this next one in a more recent video. Now I did talk about it then when I wore it in a previous video when I said I was thinking of making this one. And it's this one. It's another one that I love with zebras on. Now again, this was a narrow piece of fabric. So this particular one is in a craft cotton. So I know some people don't like making things in craft cotton. I don't mind that. It's cotton, so it feels nice to wear. But if you prefer a more floaty fabric, then I can understand. But I think a shirt does hold well to having a good weighted fabric on it because it shows up all the details. So I don't mind it at all. And it is nice to wear and it washes nice and it keeps the colours nice as well. So what I did with this one, I did a sleeve that just comes to the elbow. You'll have to excuse my croakiness. I have been ill all Christmas with a cold, and so have all the family. <laughs> and I've just done a band which turns up here. I've added the band on actually because I was using up fabric again as best I could. 
but it's a proper turn up and it just comes to the elbow. I managed to get the collar out of it, but I did this one shorter still. So this is even shorter than the one I'm wearing, but I still kept the shape at the bottom, sort of that curved shirt shape. And I did manage to get the yoke, the same colours on both sides on this one. So that's another one that I made that I love because I really love the zebra fabric. So I made that one a couple of years ago, I believe. Now this next one, I made a short sleeve version. Again, I've added, can you see, a band at the short sleeve. It's still got two pockets. And then I've gone for a contrasting button. So I've used a black button here just to pick out the darker shade in the fabric. I'll bring it a bit nearer so you can see the print on that one. And on that one, again, I didn't have as much fabric. I've not even done the inner yoke on that one. That's another way to save on fabric if you don't want to do the inner yoke. But as I've said, you can use a contrast. And this is back when I didn't use to use my overlocker as much. So on this one, I've just zigzagged it on the inside. I have top, double top stitched it on the back yoke, as you can see there. Now I do have to say, this particular one, I love the fabric in the shop, made this short sleeve version for the summer, and I've hardly ever wore this one, I think I've only wore this one about twice, but as many of you will know, when you spend a lot of time on something, I've not been in a mind to pass it on or so I think I might try again with this one this summer and see if I can get some wear out of it because it does seem a shame. I think it's just sometimes you have those things that you just put them on and they weren't what you envisaged and maybe they don't suit you as much as you thought they would because of the colour or maybe the style. But the style in every other one I've made I really like. I just don't know. Something about the fabric and the style in this one when I put it on. It doesn't wow me. Let's just put it that way. So... It might get moved on, we'll see. I'll try it again this summer and if I don't wear it much, I will move it on because it's a shame for it to be just sitting there. And then this one is the first one that I did. So this one, I have done all the details. I've done it to the full length so you can see it's much longer. This is shirting fabric. So I'm trying to think now, I think this was a Paul Smith shirting I used on this one. It's really nice sort of a dusky pink with like flecks in it and I match the buttons it's a little square button on this one so I was really selective about what buttons I chose I really took my time over it again I wasn't using the overlocker back then but I've zigzag finished everything so it's quite some time ago that I made this one before I did as many shirts as I've done now because I've done quite a lot of shirts. I've done shirts for my husband, I've done shirts for so longs. But this one, I really took my time over it. It's fitted, well they all are. They've got darts in, front and back, back panel, back yoke, both pockets and also on this particular one I did the top panel detail. So if you can see it's got a detail panel that comes here and across. And that can be done in a contrasting fabric if you wish. So that was the very first one that I did of this pattern. And that one is more, that one feels more formal when you wear it. It's more a, a dressed up shirt. And then for this particular one, I made it into a shirt dress. So this is a John Caldor fabric, I believe, this one. I'm trying to remember rightly because I made this one six years ago. So this one was after the pink one. But this one was six years ago. Now, again, I went for, it's a little bit crumpled. I've just got it out of the summer dresses box, just to show you. Uh, it's got a short sleeve with a band on, again. I've done both pockets. So I'll just flip this round so you can just see at the back. As I said, excuse the fact that it's a little crumpled. It has been in the summer dresses box, packed away for the winter. And I do wear this one with a belt round. So I have a pink belt. A sort of a peach pink belt which I wear around this but if you had had enough fabric you could make one you could just make a tie belt and some belt loops if you were doing this 
So all I did for this was to extend the length of the pattern pieces. It is a long pattern to start with, so it comes well down to your hips. And when you extend it, you just need to make sure that you go outwards. So take the line outwards a little bit so it has room over your hips. And then just carry it on down to the length that you want to make it. So it's really easy to make it into a dress. Just make sure that you've got enough room. So go out, I'll allow, allow a little extra first of all. And then what you do is you try it on when it's made up, you try it on inside out. And if you feel that it's coming out too much, you just pin it up the sides and then try it again and adjust. And when you're happy with it, that it comes out enough to be comfortable to sit down in and to wear, then you run in that seam line to where you've put your pins. And that's the way that I do it. And it's worked out really well. And I've also made a shirt dress from the same pattern. Obviously I can't show that one because uh, my friend had it. Uh, she asked for it, she specifically said, could you make me a shirt dress? And this is the kind of fabrics I want. So she chose a fabric and made her the shirt dress. Again, I did it from this pattern, but she had the long sleeve shirt dress. And um, she tried it on. Unfortunately, the way that I've done it, it fit first time and she and she liked it. She was happy with that. So that's another one that I've done, but I can't show it because uh, it's over with my friend. And I did actually make a tie belt for that one, a really thin tie belt so she could tie it. So that's that one. So I hope that was useful and it shows you all the different ways that you can make this pattern. So 6849, it's a real keeper as you can see, I've used it lots. This won't be the last time that I make this one. I'll be, I'll be making it lots more in the future, I just know I will. I think I might need to, at some point, retrace off my pattern pieces. Because I don't know if you can see, is that showing up on camera? This has started to go a different colour. I don't know why, because it's been packed away. And my pieces, because I keep getting them out, they're very thin. They are thin anyway, aren't they, pattern pieces? But... I just think over time they're just going to get weaker so I may trace them off onto some other paper maybe just some A4 paper taped together actually just so it's stronger so I may do that at some point if you're looking for a shirt this is the one to get I do love it I know there's so many shirt patterns out there at the moment and I've tested and made all different ones for uh, so long some things that I've done but I do have to say that for me, this is one that I just keep coming back to. Now, I know that a lot of the uh, big pattern companies do have better instructions. But if you just take your time with it and give it a try, the instructions are more basic, but it is just a brilliant one to work through. So give that one a go. I'm not affiliated with this. I'm not getting paid for this video. This is just my own opinion. That's one to go for. So I hope that was helpful for some of you. Please let me know in the comments below if you've made this pattern and what kind of fabric you used and how you found it. I will be back soon with some more sewing for you but thank you so much for watching today. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye for now.